this InDesign video, we're going to talk about creating interactive PDF forms. We've got basically a uh, kind of a silly form here, captain's form, and in this uh, particular area here, this blank area is where we're going to put in our PDF elements. So let's go ahead and, and get started. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see it. And in uh, order to uh, just work in this area here, I'm going to open up my layers tab. Uh, palette here. So if you don't see my workspace, I'm in the advanced workspace. You can get to that by going to window, workspace, and then advanced. And then I've got my layers palette. So you can see everything is on the first layer there, layer one, and I'm going to make my PDF elements or my form on layer two. And if you want to label it, just double click and you can label it form. So to create a interactive form, we need the field, we need the label, and we actually need the input. So there are three things. So let's start with the field itself. For the field, I like using a rectangle. So it's just the regular rectangle tool. And you can see here, I'm gonna go and just fill it with white as a fill color. And we can just have black as an outline color. That's fine. So if I click off of it, and then I'm gonna go down here, my tools palette, go from normal to preview, we can kind of get an idea. All right, that's looking good so far. Let's add our label next. So that's the background. That's basically uh, what will be seen on the form. Next one is the actual label. And I'm going to click and drag just a nice big label across here. So this will be like pirate's name, for example, right? Um, so that's the label that goes on it. Um, with this selected here, you can see um, that uh, the name here, it goes with this particular one. If you want to change the actual alignment, look at your tool preference bar up here, okay? We have align to the top, align to the bottom, or align to the middle. I like aligning it in the middle just so I can kind of get an idea. The last element we need is the actual input field. Now, I like making my input fields with an actual uh, rectangle frame tool. Okay, and the frame tool gives you that X in the middle, and the reason I like doing that is because a rectangle frame tool, this one here, uh, allows you to click directly in it um, and select it. So a normal rectangle, just as a quick reminder, if it doesn't have a fill color, you can use the select tool and I'm clicking inside of it and nothing is happening. You can only select it by clicking the border. Whereas a rectangle tool, you can click anywhere inside of it. Okay, now with this, uh, we just need to convert this now into an actual field. So we're gonna go to window and under interactive, you're gonna wanna come down here to buttons and forms. Again, window, interactive, buttons and forms. Okay, that opens up the buttons and forms field here. And what you want to do is go ahead and now select the actual field and the type that we want for this first one is just a text field. You can see there's a button, checkbox, combo, list box, radio, signature, and text field. So now it's an actual input field. You'll see there's a little text icon here. It's a different color. Uh, this is the type is a text field. You do want to go ahead and input these names here. So this is the pirates name field. Okay, I like at using field on them so that way it's nice and easy for me to basically identify it later. Now I don't need any events here. That's more advanced here. If you do an event, you could do an action. If you don't, if you're not showing your PDF options here, you can go ahead and put some PDF options down here. There's a description field you can add. This is printable. You can do some fonts here, scrollable if it's long text, right? Little, a few options there, but that's all you need there. Now we've got this particular field. And you would just repeat that for every additional one. In the interest of time and actually using more advanced techniques, I'm going to select all three of those, hold down Alt on my PC, and hold down Shift after I've made a copy. You can see my cursor is doubled up. Um, make a copy and drag it down, and I release, and now I've got an exact copy of it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start changing some of this. This is now ship's name. Okay, name of the ship. Okay, uh, I'm going to grab my select tool, grab this actual text field, and you can see it's a text field again, pirate's name field one. It just basically added a one to it. So let's go ahead and, and change that to ship's name field. Okay, and then now we're done with that. So it's still, it's printable, it's ready to go. Let's try a different one here and we'll do the manual process again. So let's go ahead and we are going to make a, a couple of check boxes here. So go ahead and make that. I'm going to go ahead and add a color to it so that way it's a little easier to select. Okay. So um, we're going to have a check box here. It looks a little big for me. So make it a little smaller. I'm going to add a rectangle tool inside of it. So just click inside of there. Got my rectangle. With it selected, the type that I want is a checkbox. So I'm just going to cover these two here. With the checkbox, you do want to go ahead and uh, 
give it a name. So this is not checkbox one. So let's say, uh, let's make checkboxes for dead or alive, right? So this one is dead field. And uh, the appearance on here, you can see it's either checked or unchecked here. So if you uncheck it, it's like this, okay? So, or you can have it checked. PDF options, printable, button value, yes. Okay, that's all fine there. Let's go ahead and click off of that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just alt drag here um, and resize it. So I'll just drag this in and I'll just say dead as the a label. There we go. And go ahead and drag the uh, complete copy of those and this one double click and label alive okay so again you can edit any one of these obviously I don't want them both selected right so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one unchecked here so that's how you're gonna go ahead and create all of your fields in this case we're just focusing in again um, you need to have something selected like a box or something and then you can go ahead and select the type that you want so that's how we're gonna start to export this please watch the next video